When you're trying to fly your whoop slowly indoors, do you struggle to hold a constant altitude? Or if you fly acro, do you find yourself misjudging gaps or pulling out of power loops too late? Maybe you're flying through car parks and keep smashing into the ceiling and floor because your throttle feels too sensitive. Or just generally struggling with proximity flying where small stick movements feel unpredictable. Today, I'm going to show you a simple and quick beta flight setup that will fix these problems, making your quad easier to control and fly more precisely, whatever your experience level. I'll cover throttle profiling and calibration that will smooth out your power delivery and altitude control to make fine adjustments easier without losing the sharp response you need when it matters. Hello, and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. It doesn't matter if you fly bind and fly quads or you've built your own from scratch. Even if your PIDs are dialed in just right, you'll eventually start wondering about rates. And everywhere you look, people will be saying the same thing. Rates are very personal. Choose them to suit how you want your quad to feel. So naturally you start experimenting and if you're just starting out, I'll bet the first thing you do is crank them up as high as possible so your quad looks snappy and fast. But here's the thing. While rates do matter if you truly understand your flying style and needs, for most of us averagely good pilots, I'd argue you can almost completely forget about rates if you take the time to properly calibrate your throttle profile in beta flight. Other flight control software is available, but let's be honest, you're probably using beta flight. Now, I've been banging on about this for years and I pretty much guarantee that if you follow my simple guide to throttle profiling, you'll be able to fly smoother and more accurately without touching your rates at all and just use the beta flight default rates, which are pretty good. A badly profiled throttle is especially noticeable when you're flying through tight spaces like during a cinematic indoor fly through. If you ever watch those real estate drone videos where everything looks weirdly slow and bouncy, that's often because the pilot is overcompensating to hold altitude by throttle pumping, a classic sign of overcontrolling due to too much sensitivity in the cruise throttle range. Instead of small, precise cruising, they're constantly making tiny little jerky corrections to hold altitude. They just slow the footage down in post to hide it. Now, if you know anything about beta flight pitch tuning, you'll know that adding expo or exponential mapping to roll, pitch and yaw reduces the stick sensitivity around the center position, which improves controllability. This means you can make quite large adjustments without the quad suddenly darting off all over the place while still having full stick response at the extremes. Well, we can do the same thing with the throttle in the rates tab. But before we start thinking about tweaking, how do we figure out where the cruise control throttle center position actually is? I'll show you. So I've got my radio set up and it's bound and talking to my quad over here. My quad's connected to beta flight. Now, if we look at the rates on beta flight, this is the sort of thing that you would normally see before, before you start messing about with anything. You may decide to dial in a bit of expo on your roll pitch and yaw, which flattens out this curve over here to reduce the sensitivity around the middle of your stick movement. So you can make quite big movements there and 
the quad won't move very quickly. And as you then start to move to the end, it starts to give you the full control. Now, if we look at the throttle settings over here, this is what comes out of the box with beta flight. So the throttle mid is set at 0.5, and that's assuming that when your throttle is in the middle position there, you see where the little marker is, that that is where your quad is sitting there, either hovering or in stable cruise flight, flying around slowly at a constant altitude. But that's not the case. That might work for a five inch quad, maybe with a biggish battery, but even then quads are pretty efficient these days. The mid position of your throttle is where you want to set the expo around. So for example, on here, I could dial in some expo just by winding this up like this. And you can see it's flattened out the curve. So that means my throttle is now less sensitive around the middle section, but you still got full control at the top and the bottom. But that's assuming that this is where your quad is hovering or cruising. And that's not the case. How do you find out where that mid position is? Well, there's a number of ways you could do it. You could look at your black box logs and fly around the garden or somewhere reasonably controlled with low wind, flying your quad with the configuration that you're expecting to fly in with a GoPro on and the size of battery that you're planning to use. And then you could look at the throttle in your black box logs and work out the average. To be honest, that's fairly over the top for what we want to do. You could set up the throttle in your OSD and see what the position is. That's fairly straightforward. I don't think many of us use the throttle position on our OSD, but there is a much easier way. You've got little calibrations on here. There's not so many on the GX12, but what you do is take your quad, go out and fly around the garden with whatever load you expect on there. Use the battery that you would normally use. If you can use a GoPro, have the GoPro attached to the quad and just fly around the garden slowly at a speed that's sort of cruising and have a look and see where your throttle is. Now for this particular Speedy B B25, it's actually very low. It's down about there. So you can just look down and think that's about the average place. That's fine. So that is your throttle mid position. Now I want to set this up so that I can fly in very confined places for very slow FPV fly throughs. So I want this to be able to fly slowly and smoothly and not bounce about all over the place. So this is now my midpoint. So if you go back to beta flight, you can see that's where the midpoint is. So what we need to do is take our midpoint down until it's at that sort of point, which is round about there. It's very low. So this is where it flattens out. Let's just let me get rid of that. Get rid of that. It's down about there. So that is my midpoint. It's not the physical midpoint, but it's the point at which the quad is flying at a steady altitude. Now, you can start dialing in the amount of expo that you want. And this is down to feel. You just need to try it and see, see what it looks like. Now, in this particular case, I want to fly very, very slowly, very, very smoothly. So I'm going to dial in buckets of the stuff. So for this quad, 0.8, is where it's a, just a nice feel and it works really well. Now, if you look at this video that I've got up here, this is where I used the B25 in a commercial shoot for a very small cafe. It's a very tight space. I wanted to fly very smoothly, very slowly. And these are the settings that I used for my throttle. And this is what you call throttle profiling and calibration it stops all that nasty throttle pumping that you get. And if you set it up like this for however you want to fly, then you will fly much, much better. A typical for setting for something like a three, four, five inch quad, the mid position is going to be, not in the middle there, it's going to be down about here, 
25 to 30 percent so you'll find that if you hover around your or cruise around your garden you need to be cruising not hovering because hovering uses actually less throttle that might be your midpoint and then you can start dialing in the amount of expo that you want so if you're doing fairly fast acro flying that sort of thing or bando flying then dialing in a small amount is absolutely fine but if you want to buy very slowly and smoothly then just keep dialing in more and more and more and you flatten out this part here but you can still got full throttle up there and down there and for something like a seven inch then a lot of the time i actually find that a seven inch will fly just below 50 percent throttle round about there 45 44 percent something like that and that will be your midpoint so let's put that down to let's say let's say we've got to 44 here so we can see over there that that's the throttle setting and that's where we need it to be let me just do that like that so that's our midpoint and then we can start dialing in the expo whatever expo you need for whatever type of flying you're doing the slower and smoother you dial in more expo the faster and less smooth you want to be the less expo you dial in and that's it throttle calibration and profiling so stop endlessly tweaking your rates and dial in your throttle first if your quad feels twitchy at cruising speed or you're constantly battling altitude control a properly profiled throttle will fix all that long before rates ever do and it's not just for slow cinematic flying where the issues are most obvious a well-tuned throttle makes a huge difference in acro racing and proximity flying as well and if you're struggling with over controlling in tight gaps or pulling out of power loops cleanly or holding steady throttle in a technical race section this will help no matter what your skill level is by adding in some expo to your throttle curve you'll smooth out those unwanted corrections making your flying feel more precise more controlled and just better overall and most importantly you'll have more fun and feel more connected with your quad try it out and let me know how it goes and if this helped maybe give me a like and if you're new here consider subscribing for more tips and reviews and you can follow me on facebook and instagram as well thanks for watching and i'll see you next time